text-to-speech program or text reader on your computer or tablet reads text from a document or web page to you using a computer voice. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to set Select to Speak and use one of the Scottish voices, for example Heather, on a Chromebook in three easy steps. So, step one is to go to the Google Play Store and download one of the Scottish voices, for example Stuart or Heather. So, here it is, I've gone to the Google Play Store and just, just typed in Heather voice, so you could type in Stuart and it's about 49 pence <coughs> and uh, the next stage is to download. I've, I've downloaded it onto my <coughs> a Chromebook. So once you've downloaded the voice you can check that it's in the launcher just down here on the bottom left side of the screen. And there it is there. So let's first of all let's, let's check it to hear the voice. Welcome to the new Android app from Seraproc. Okay, and stop it and if you go to the information tab you can see that uh, there's some instructions on how to go about setting it so select Heather TTS as preferred engine and click listen to an example okay so I'm just going to say okay for just now and close that down so that's the first step so the second step is um, how we're going to set up select and speak now for the video I've already got it going so I'm just going to quickly turn it off and then I'll go back and turn it on so you can see how how it's turned on so let me go down to the bottom right hand side and we're going to click just on the bottom here in the system tray where the date is and we want to go to the accessibility icon so just the accessibility icon just here and then from there we want to make sure that select and speak is turned on. So now it appears down on the bottom right so we know that it's active. And this acts as a shortcut to turn it on and off. So from there I'm going to go back to the accessibility again. So back into accessibility and this time I'm going to go to the um, cog here. So just the, the, the accessibility settings icon. So let's turn that on. And you can see here that uh, I've already selected, um, let's, let's just go to select text and speech, so it's the second one down, so let's go to text to speech, once you've done that, and I've already turned it on, okay, I, I've, I've, got, I've, got it, I've got it working already, but if it's not on, you just want to turn that on, so that's, uh, it says, here specific text read aloud, uh, first select to speak icon at the bottom of your screen, which you've just looked at, and you can also use a keyboard shortcut, which is you first of all highlight the text and then press the search and S button. So that's the first thing. Notice that there's two different options here as well. So the next stage I'm going to go to is I'm going to click on Open Select to Speak Settings. And you can see what we have here is the language is device language and the preferred voice is this as system text-to-speech. Now when it's default you'll find that when it's where it says use natural voice when device is online it will probably be turned on and what that gives you is a lot of voices that are online voices. Okay so uh, for example let's just let, let's hear one. Hi there I'm your text-to-speech voice. Okay so there's quite there's you know, some good voices in there that might be quite let's try the natural voice. Hi there, I'm your text-to-speech voice. Okay, so let's see what... <coughs> let's look at... try another United Kingdom voice. Hi there, I'm your text-to-speech voice. Okay, so uh, that's what we want to do now, is make sure that this is turned off. Okay, so we want to turn that off, and then just down at the bottom, I'm going to go back into settings. The next stage then is, 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 then, is now to click on the, this bit here where it says text-to-speech voice settings, because this is where we want to make sure that the Chromebook is seeing the Heather voice. So let's just click onto that. And there you can see from the menu, from where it says preview and voice to preview, I want to go down and because I've installed the voice, it's going to be on my laptop or on the Chromebook, I should say. There it is, let's just play it. Hi there, I'm your text to speech voice. Okay, now 
If you play that, and you might find that it's not playing right, for example, it sounds like this. Okay, like something from Star Wars. Let's just put it to 100 default, play it again. Hi there, I'm your text-to-speech voice. Okay, so that's, that, that's, that's, that's step two. So the final step then is to actually go and use it. So we've now got it all set up for the Heather voice. So let's do what we did before. Let's just bring up a, a web page. It could be anything, of course. Let's go to the text to speech again. Let's click on the icon. So let's make sure it's active. Now, when I just highlight some text, and what we can do is if I press Control, Search and S. Text to speech program or text reader on your computer or tablet reads text from a document or web page to you using a computer voice. And then we can go to the next bit, next section and do the same thing again, so uh, search an S. Text on the internet, emails and instant messages. Digital SQA exams and assessments. Difficult words, sentences or whole paragraphs of text. Books, documents and... Okay, so I uh, hope you find that useful.